ledge. Coming up on a honey hole here. Got some fish down here. Off to my right. The fish right there. There's a brush pile coming right there. That's a brush pile. Or standing trees is what that is. I'm gonna pull around here and set up on that fish, see if I can't catch him. I'm catching these fish real deep, 45, 50 foot of water. I like to bring them up real slow. So they, I guess they can decompress. Once I get him up here, you'll see the bubbles. <coughs> this one appears to be a pretty nice fish. I don't think he's that big, but he's swimming up current. Water's 36 degrees. <clears throat> I started out using big baits. I think they might be on a big bite, but it didn't happen. Look, I got another bite going on right there. I had to use little bitty baits to get them to, to hit. The air temp today is probably 32 degrees, 33. That's a pretty nice one, I'd say he's 20, 25. I like to slice a little slice through this to get to your backbone. And then I come down and cut the gut pocket off. The gut pockets are pretty good in the springtime when the big bite is going on. And then I like to chunk it out. Of course, we can throw the head later on. Throw these big chunks is what I like. These aren't very big yet, but we got on a little hole here. We got plenty of them in it. I guess it's five or six we caught in less than an hour.
Cold fish. All right, the fish wasn't hitting the big chunks today like I thought they would. Uh, it's early March here on the Ohio River. So what I had to do is downsize. I never had a bite on a big chunk today, a head, a gut pocket, or a big chunk. So I had to downsize to a size like that. And I started catching fish. We caught nine fish today in about four hours. Nothing real big, 25 pounds, 20, 25 pounds, the biggest one, but water temperature's 36 degrees. That's pretty cold. I think the water get up about 40 degrees, these fish will turn off. 